Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators, the best kept secret on the internet. This is our snorkeling series, and today we are in the beautiful island nation of Mauritius, and I gotta tell you, to one of the prettier coral spots that I have seen in a while. We are at Blue Bay, in the southeast corner of Mauritius. If you're new to our snorkeling series, we rank each one of our snorkel sites based on five categories, that is location, water access, water traffic, wildlife, and facilities. And we rank each of those categories on a scale of one to five manta rays. Five manta rays. So let's jump right in here. Where is Blue Bay here in Mauritius? Well, Mauritius is out here in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And Blue Bay is closest to Myborg in the southeast of the country. The nice thing is that it's really close to the airport, and I mean really close to the airport. In fact, there won't be any drone shots in this video because it's that close to the airport. But it is well over an hour, more like an hour and 20 minutes from Grand Bay in the north. And even if you're in the south down at Lamorne, it still takes you about an hour and 20 minutes to get over here from that area as well because the roads aren't as great. Most everybody will be coming down A10, and then you're gonna look for signs to Blue Bay. It's pretty hard to miss. Uh, there's a little bit of a bypass road here and or you'll take the coastal road and then you will see a kind of a loop here that brings you right next to the bay a really clear area where you can park either on the side of the road or in a designated parking area so it should be pretty easy to find so because it is close to my board but not so much the rest of the island i'm gonna give this three out of five manta rays there are different boat tours that'll take you all around blue bay and there are other designated snorkeling areas that they will take you to in our channel, we typically do ones that are not going to be a cost associated and that you can get to on your own. And that is the case for today. There are two technically areas that they say are snorkelable around Blue Bay. One here is over on the kind of the western edge of this big blue hole, which looks really cool, but actually isn't all that neat to look at uh, in the water. But that is really an overrated area in my uh, opinion. It is uh, murky. There's not a lot to see there. The area that we're going to talk about today is over here actually kind of on the point here straight south and there's a little bit of a point here and you see these dark areas and this is some excellent snorkeling and so that's where we're going. So we're actually going to walk down the beach kind of south so as you arrive from the parking area you're going to turn left and follow the sidewalk that goes all the way around and then you're just going to kind of climb over this little bit of a wall right along the beach there um, and you'll see some resort areas there and that's fine the beaches are public access so don't feel bad about that and we're just going to set up here right past this wall and you'll see there's a little island out here that is uh, where there used to be I'm guessing a lighthouse and you can just set yourself in this general area and this is where we're going to get in which is a nice little beach entry super easy and of course worthy of five out of five manta rays. Five manta rays. So water traffic, as I mentioned, there are lots of boats in this area and you'll see them all around. You'll probably be harassed by some people who are going to want to have you take a boat tour with them. Um, and hey, if you want to do that, by all means do that. But you don't need to do that to see some really pretty stuff in this area. So as you go to this point and you jump in here, um, you'll see that, well, one, there's some really strong currents. And I want to be very, very clear about it. You need to be very aware about what you're doing in this area because the currents are going to be moving from the east going west or left to right if you're standing on the beach and you want to be very aware of what the currents are doing when you're getting in the water but typically they're going to be moving from uh, east to west uh, that's just the standard winds here in Mauritius and it can really push you around and so if you're not a strong swimmer or especially if you do not have fins I would not recommend the snorkel for you uh, that water is really moving and uh, especially in places and you can get yourself into some trouble if you're getting pushed farther than you can swim. And, and it's for the same reason that when you get in, you want to make a pretty hard left. So you wanna go swim into the current right away and uh, enjoy everything that this place has to offer. And then you'll kind of drift back and make your way back to this spot here where the old lighthouse used to be. But there are boats in this area. So along with the currents, you need to be mindful of boats. The people, I have not seen many snorkelers in this area. I've been a couple times, and so that is pretty excellent. Of course, you always want to go early because going early is when you see the fewest people, but you do want to watch out for boat traffic in this area. So because of the currents and because of the boats that you do need to keep an eye out for, they're going to be fewer than in the actual bay, but they still need to watch out for them. I'm going to give this three out of five manta rays. All right, so let's get to the good stuff here with wildlife goodness as you've seen in some of these videos the coral here is so healthy some of the healthiest coral I've seen since when I lived in the Marshall Islands it is just beautiful you'll see here in this one photo kind of the size of some of these coral heads compared to these boats on this Google uh, image here and 
it's true, these, these coral heads are the sizes of your living room. I mean, they're just massive, massive coral heads. They're beautiful and they're really in very, very good shape. And you can swim around in these areas. It's, it's pretty darn shallow. Now the sandy areas are probably deeper than you can touch, but the coral itself, sometimes you have to swim over it. And so you do want to be mindful of that, but uh, it'll be touchable, which of course you don't want to touch the coral. You can scrape yourself very easily. It's alive. It's, if you ever do get scraped by coral, you want to make sure you really, really clean out your, your scrapes and stuff like that, because that's not good for you. You can get infected. But the coral in this area is just spectacular. It is so beautiful. It is everywhere. It's huge, super healthy, and lots of fish as well. Now, if there's one criticism here, it's that the diversity of the coral is not super great. And same, the fish that come in this kind of coral, you're gonna see about you know 10 different kinds of fish and you're gonna see a ton of them, which is awesome. But you're not gonna see some of the bigger things, at least in my experience in this area. But uh, man, if you're looking for healthy coral and just tons of it and just getting to experience the fullness of what you know reefs have to offer this is an amazing place for you so of course that's going to give us the illustrious five manta rays. five manta rays. so to finish up here with the facilities hey this is a really nice place you do have lots of locals that come to this beach as well uh you know we left early in the morning one of our more recent visits here uh, we were staying nearby we left quite early and there was tons of people already at the beach they've been camping so this area does get pretty busy, but they do have proper facilities. There's an actual bathroom, actual shower area over here to rinse off, uh, actual parking, and plenty of signs. And those signs do indicate, you know, that you, you know you swim at your own risk. You gotta watch out for boats. You gotta watch out for the currents as well. So of course, you know, be on the lookout in this area. But if you just get off the beaten path a little bit here, over into this uh, this little tip of this peninsula here, you have a great spot to enjoy all kinds of fish. And then a nice place to go and have facilities and rinse off afterwards. So I'm going to give for this for facilities five out of five manta rays. Five manta rays. Guys, this is an awesome, awesome place here in Mauritius. Just the health of this coral, I cannot overstate, is beautiful. It is so great. So if you fancy yourself just some of the best coral on the entire island, beautiful fish as well. Again, do make sure that you take fins or that you're a very strong swimmer, but really I wouldn't recommend this uh, snorkel without fins. If you're gonna do it early and you're gonna try to do it without fins, I would say go early, early in the morning because when the winds pick up during the day, that current's only gonna pick up and make it harder for you to, to get back to shore. So please be careful uh, in this area. Take care of each other. Leave this place cleaner than you found it and we will see you next time.